Hello, Dr. C. Say, covering anatomy and physiology. Today we'll talk about the integumentary system, specifically the skin. Here you see the skin model. The skin has three different layers, the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. The epidermis itself can have either four layers or five layers. If the skin is thick, it will have five layers. If it's thin, it will have four layers. Here, we have five layers on this one. The corneum, lucidum, granulosum, spinosum, and basal. Corneum, lucidum, granulosum, spinosum, basal. The way to memorize it, come, let's, get, sun, burn. Those are the five layers of the epidermis. If you're looking from the top here, you can see them here. Come, the corneum, let's, lucidum. Lucidum is very shiny. It is in the palm of the hand and the sole of the feet. That's why they look lighter. Then you got the granulosum here. The spinosum, which is the very long one, is called spinosum. It looks like a spine, like a spine. And then the basal, which is the very first layer of the epidermis, the bottom layer. It is the first one that grows to become the rest on top. And all these are keratinocytes, the name of the cell. As we saw in the other video, we saw that this is stratified squamous epithelium, many layers of stratified of squamous cells. The second one is the, the, the dermis. The dermis is divided into two layers the papillary layer and the reticular. Now the reason why it's called papillary, it has papilla, which means bump, on top of it. These one that, that make the uh, fingerprint of your finger, for example, the papillary layer of the dermis. Now, the um, reticular layer will be the main part of the dermis. It is dense, irregular connective tissue. But the papillary layer and the epidermis are separated by areolar tissue, which is a connective tissue. At the bottom here, you see the hypodermis, which is not literally a layer. It is just a space between the dermis and the bottom layer of the skin filled up with fat, adipose tissue. Here you see a lot of blood vessels because the dermis has blood vessel. It's called the dermis is vascularized. It has arteries and veins. The yellow lines are the nerves. These nerves can be different type of nerves because they're going to receive different type of information called stimuli or one stimulus. For example, here you see three nerve endings. These are nerves that can detect temperature. And then you see lamellar corpuscle and tactile corpuscle. Tactile means touching, like light touch. Lamellar will be pressure, like deep touch. Here you also see the hair shaft and you see holes on the skin called pores. These are the holes through which the sweat can come out from the sweat glands here. You see the sweat glands here. Here, this hair has a follicle. The follicle is nothing but the root of the hair. The hair shaft is the hair itself, okay? So here you can see the labellar corpuscle, which is a nerve, the tactile corpuscle, also a nerve, free nerve ending, the sweat gland, and the duct of the sweat gland, the sweat gland pour through the stratum, stratum corneum. Here you can see the follicle. If you open the follicle, that's what you see inside. It is the same layer as the epithelial tissue here. So basically, we have five layers of the epidermis, corneum, lucidum, granulosum, spinosum, and basal. We have two layers of the dermis, papillary, reticular. We have one in the hypodermis, filled with adipose tissue, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.